So I'm not going to waste your time with this video. The number one tip that I can give someone like you to master your craft is to start from the bottom. Think about the habit that you need to succeed. Think about the habit you need to make progress. Can you become a good football player without showing up to practice? No, you can't. You need to show up to practice every single time to become a better football player. So that's the first thing you need to cover. Think about the habit that your craft wouldn't work without. Um, a, a bodybuilder couldn't build his body out without going to the gym and then maximize that. And after this, many people stop. They just say, focus on the main task. And this is where the common simpleton YouTubers advice stops. The advice that I'm giving, however, starts there. The advice that I give once you have done the big habit that your craft couldn't work without. So as a football player, that's going to practice. As a bodybuilder, that's going to the gym. As an accountant, that is calculating how numbers work and how money moves, right? Just think about the one habit that it couldn't work without, that you couldn't perform without. And then add things on top of it. Add as many things with as many different facets to it. So in terms of building muscle, let's say building muscle is your craft. Then the big habit, the first habit that you should do is go to the gym and max that out. And then you can max out nutrition. And then you can eat very clean and do all these biohacking things and take supplements if you want to and do all these things, right? And then you can do recovery, then you can research recovery, then you can go into that rabbit hole. Now, am I saying with this that you shouldn't do recovery or eat clean until you have passed the, the, like, like the completion stage of going to the gym? No, absolutely not. You should still eat as clean as you know to eat clean. And you should also recover. You should also use a foam roller. You should also stretch. You, could, you should also like do different movements like running, swimming, diving, um, sprinting, maybe. And you can do all the habits as good as you know to do them. But you shouldn't do research on it. You shouldn't like read um, books on fucking um, on nutrition and on biohacking when you're not even done with completing the gym yet. And let me show you where like the stages end. I look very aesthetic. I'm very proud of the work that I've done. And I'm grateful that God gave me this fantastic body that I have. I may show a couple pictures of it. And I think I have now completed the stage of going to the gym. If you don't look better than me and, and, and are stronger than me, I'll put on a couple like lifting statistics of me, like what I, what I bench, what I deadlift, what I squat. Um, if you're not stronger than me and if you don't look better than me, you shouldn't bother with reading books about fucking nutrition and listening to podcasts about nutrition and fucking researching uh, recovery and stuff. And then, like, 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 this is the thing, right? Add new things on top of each other. And then you have to know, as the third tip of this guide, you have to know what to add first. You may do many things at once. You may not only have the craft of building muscle, but you want to build muscle and be a good football player and be an entrepreneur. Then, like, doing recovery... Or nutrition has different benefits, right? Nutrition, having better nutrition will help you be better at entrepreneurship because your brain will work better, then you can have better ideas, and then you have better mental health and more discipline, and, and you'll know more ways to solve problems, which is really the, the, the kind of craft of an entrepreneur. It's solving problems for other people and requesting money for that solution that you're offering. Or you could say, oh, being a football player is for me more important than, I don't know, um, being an entrepreneur. And then absolutely, you should put your recovery first because I see people who have a shitty diet. They go to McDonald's and shit and they recover and they go to the weight room and they are very, very, very good football players. So recovery does more than nutrition, right? Having your muscles work properly through recovery is better essentially than having it work with nutrition of course you shouldn't like like as i said 
You can do all the things to your best knowledge, but don't research the things you don't need right now. You don't need to know how to build a roof when you're just building, when you're just laying down the fundament, right? Don't solve problems that aren't in front of you, I'm saying here. This is the short form of this video. Don't solve the problems that aren't right before you. If you're researching something just because the information is available right now and just because you can buy a book on it right now, don't buy books because you want to buy books. Buy books because you want the knowledge in there. Because I see this with my, th- with my, with my younger self even. Right, I, I know this from earlier. When, when, I buy, when I bought my first book, I didn't know shit about self-improvement. Right, I, the first book I bought was like the book, the, the biography of Karl Lagerfeld. Not because I wanted to know what's in there, but just because I wanted to like read a little bit and feel cool. And don't do that. If you have a problem and you feel like you need to read a book on that, read a book on it by all means, because books work way better than, than videos. It's like a little bit more significant and then your brain is more invested into it and then you will be able to make more progress from that. But... Don't buy a book on something you don't have in front of you right now. Don't buy a book about sales when you're just in product development. And then the last advice that I would give you, which is like a very good advice in my opinion, is how would you teach it your best friend? How would you teach this to someone else? Would you tell them, oh yeah, you need to research all the small things and you need to fucking know everything about nutrition. But man... I didn't even go to the gym yet. Please teach me how to bench properly, how to do all these things properly. Go into the rabbit hole, find all of it out, max the habit out, go deep, dig deep, and then get out of the rabbit hole, having mastered that task, having mastered going to the gym, then you jump into the next rabbit hole, then you go deep and deep, 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 deep into the realms of nutrition, then you get out of there, then you jump into the next rabbit hole of recovery, and then you max that shit out, And then all of a sudden, after this nose to the grindstone period, you will have mastered your craft and you will look back and see, oh, Caveman was right. I hope this video didn't waste your time. I hope it helped you progress on mastering your task. And I hope it reminded you of what's really necessary and what is only a gimmick. Now have a nice day and master your mind.